Okay, greetings Spartans. Welcome to Monday, September 16th. You'll have to excuse this recording. I haven't done one in a long time, so uh, I have no doubt I'll be making some errors. But really, this is just a backup video based on what we did on Friday, so you should know how to do this. Anyone who's stuck will have to refer to this video um, because very important that we learn how to do this. So we're going to vectorize Mickey here, just like on Friday. So we're going to click it to make it larger. Okay. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and copy the image. All right. I'm going to go into Photoshop and interesting. Okay, that was the last thing I had, so I'm going to close this. I have no idea why I had that. I'm not going to save it. We will go to New, File New, or you can do Control N, and we'll call this Mickey Graphic 1, right? Click OK, and paste. That'd be Control V, or Edit and drop down the menu and paste. All right, we're going to take our quick selection tool. Actually, I'm going to take my magic wand tool, which is found under the quick selection tool. So you got to hold it down. OK, I'm going to go ahead and click. Make sure you're in the Mickey layer. I'm going to click. And I'm hold down Shift. I'll sh I should get a plus sign. So I'm going to choose all the uh, black area, all the black parts, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and add a layer, okay? And I'm going to fill with black. So first make sure the color shows black right here. If not, you can just bring your cursor, which changes to a, an eyedropper, click right there. Also, the letter D on your keyboard will switch it to black over white. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill it, Alt Backspace, and I'm going to turn off the visibility just to prove that I have it. Okay. Next, we're going to go back to that layer, and we're going to choose all the white. Okay. I only see one instance where it's white. So it's selected, add a layer above, I can call this black. Sometimes it helps to name your layer because then you'll be able to remember what, what's what. You can see the picture, but sometimes it's hard to see. So, um, again, Alt Backspace. And let's see. Can you tell if there's white on there? Let's see if we turn off. Yeah, that's white. Okay. Now I'm going to go back again and grab the red. There's only one case where that exists. That's on the tongue. Add a layer above that, and then Alt Backspace. Um, I forgot to choose the red, didn't I? So let's go to Swatches, choose a red, and again, Alt Backspace. Um, let's see. Yeah, there it is. OK. And if I turn off the Photograph layer, I can see that I did this correctly. I'm going to also delete the photograph layer. Don't need it. Uh, I'm going to turn off the background. And there you have it. Now, I'm going to save this to my desktop. You are going to save it to your folder that's found under the, uh, the yearbook uh, folder. OK? I'm going to save mine to the desktop. And click OK. And now I'm going to close uh, Photoshop. And then, we're going to go open um, Illustrator, right? Let's see. Let's see where Illustrator is. I'm going to pause the video briefly. Back. I'm going to open up Illustrator. New file. Again, call it Mickey Graphic 1. And it's going to be letter size. Don't worry about this odd number down here. As long as it's letter size, look, we can change this to inches, and then you know, 8.5 by 11. So letter size, there you go. Click OK. OK. We're going to go ahead and place our Photoshop right into Illustrator. 
So it's going to search for it. Mine's on my desktop. Yours should be in your folder. There it is. PSD Photoshop document. That's what that stands for. Okay. I'm going to place it. There it is. And let's see. I'm going to hold down uh, Shift and Alt. That'll keep it centered. Put it right in the middle there. Alt and Shift. Okay. Now I'm going to do an image trace. Three colors, right? Black, white, and red. Click it. Wait for the progress. And. Doot, doot, doot. Okay, good. Now go find my layers. Open up a little triangle there. Oh, wait, I have to expand it. Okay, expand, click the expand button. There. Now you see the layers again. Go all the way to the bottom, and right at the bottom is the white layer. You want to delete that. So just hit that little target right there. Make sure only that one is selected. You can see the little blue box there, and hit delete. And there you go. I'm going to click save. Again, mine goes to my desktop. Yours goes to your own folder on the alpha in the alpha folder. I'm going to click OK to this, and done. Now, I'm going to close Illustrator. So I'm just going to quit Illustrator. Now I'm going to open up InDesign. Let's see, quickly, 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 and let's see. This one, I guess I could just do this random one. Uh, no, I'll go back in here. Let me pause my vid. Finally, you're going to go back to your uh, Math 7 Disney. Okay, I don't have mine because I'm using a uh, new, new computer for this tutorial. But I'm going to go ahead and drag out a uh, rectangle frame. And I'm going to do a control D place command. And now it's going to search. I kind of messed up there. I had a little uh, interruption from a student. So I'm going to go ahead and drag something out. This one's going to be a square. Hold down shift, drag out your rectangle frame. And now we're going to go ahead and place. So control D for place. And on my desktop, I'm going to find my Mickey graphic, the Illustrator graphic, not the Photoshop. We need the Illustrator. Click OK, or click Open, rather. And it's placing it. And then we need to just fit it properly. So let's see. Let's see. So we're going to right click. Fitting. Uh, oh no, reopen, okay, let's see, fitting, frame, proportionally, okay, it looks like my program's going to close unexpectedly, you're going to go ahead and hit fitting and frame proportionally, let's see if it works, um, actually, let's see, content, there we go, and there you have it, um, under 10 minutes, under 9 minutes, or right around there. Okay, I hope that helps. This is what you're going to do with all your graphics. We have to vectorize our graphics. Very, very important. That's the only way it's going to look good once it's printed in our yearbook. Okay, hope that helped. Thanks for watching.